Contessa. I am obsessed with merchandise, especially t-shirts, whether it's for my favorite band, YouTuber, TV show. I love having something that I can wear to show the people around me what my interests are. Now, sometimes I become a fan of something before they reach a popularity where they have their own website, an online store, and sometimes t-shirts can just be way too expensive. So I decided I would create my own t-shirt. Not only is this under $15, but it's unique and special and nobody else has this t-shirt. So let's roll into the tutorial. you'll need are of course a t-shirt, stencils, fabric paint, paint brushes, and scotch tape. Make sure to put some paper between the t-shirt so the paint won't bleed through. First I am using the tape to give myself a guideline for the lettering. I bought this t-shirt at Walmart for under four dollars. You can check your own closet for plain t-shirts, you can check your parents closet, you can even go to the thrift store because they have lots of plain t-shirts for a great deal. Every time you move to the stencils came in sheets like this but I cut them out to make it easier to lay on the t-shirt. Now it is time to fill in the stencils. The best type of paint for this is dimensional fabric paint. I think this is meant to be squeezed out from the tube right onto the surface, but you can definitely use a paintbrush and it works fabulous. I have two colors of fabric paint, white and black. White is my main color, which most of the stencil will be filled in with. And this black, just for a little bit of shadow on my lettering to make it pop. I painted over the stencils again because the color wasn't as vibrant as I wanted it to be with just the one layer but I still wanted it to have that patchy look to it. These stencils cost me about $6. I'm sure you can find them cheaper. I got these ones at Michael's Craft Store. And the reveal, it's looking so good. I believe you can always make something better than it is now. Here I am making the edges more crisp and clean. You don't even have to go out and buy stencils. You can print them out online and cut them out. If you do that, you are awesome because I have no patience to cut out each letter, so that's why I bought stencils. With the black paint and a really tiny paintbrush, I gave some shadowing to the letters, which made it really stand out and look way more professional. And this is the final end product. Okay, here's what my t-shirt says and why I did it like this. So, it says... If you can't read it backwards and upside down, it says Spectrum, which is my friends, my good friends, vocal band. They have a channel here on YouTube. I will put that in the down bar for you to check it out, and please go do and subscribe to their channel. They are awesome. And I have a shirt that has um, poison on the front that is upside down and backwards like this, so I kind of copy this style and put their band name like that. You can do it however you want, you can do it on the side, you can just do it normal, you can draw a picture, you don't even have to do wording. If you want to draw a stencil out or just freehand with the fabric paint, definitely go for it because it is up to you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so that you can be updated when I upload more videos like this. Check out all my social media links which I will have below for you. I love you all and I hope you have a wonderful day. Never give up, always smile, and don't forget to laugh a little. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.